Oh, hello, dear brothers and sisters. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I would like to discuss the falling away. The apostasy was foretold to occur just before the rapture, which is the coming of Jesus Christ right before gathering with him. We are on the brink of it, so be prepared as Jesus will return at any moment. He will come suddenly, and in the blink of an eye, we will be transformed and go home. A few days ago, I shared a brief video regarding the falling away. Now, let's look at what the Word of God says about the apostasy that must take place before the rapture. In 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 1, the Word of God says, Now, in regard to the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and your gathering together to meet Him, let no one in any way deceive or entrap you, for that they will not come unless the apostasy comes first. That is the great rebellion, the abandonment of the faith by professed Christians. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work, but it is restrained only until he who now restrains it is taken out of the way. Then the lawless one, the Antichrist, will be revealed. What is apostasy or falling away? Many churches today have deviated from true and sound biblical teachings. The spirit of deception and false doctrine represented by Satan has infiltrated these churches. Numerous congregations do not address the rapture, sin, or the need for true repentance. Instead, they emphasize faith, God's love, and blessings He wants to bestow upon you. Some pastors and teachers resemble more of an inspirational speakers or entertainers than true shepherds. Their focus is on worldly matters and earthly blessings rather than on heaven. Many promote the doctrine of free grace, meaning once saved, always saved, saying you cannot lose your salvation. But the Word of God does not say that. Matthew 24, 13 says, But the one who perseveres to the end will be saved. Christ instructed us to take up our cross and follow Him along the narrow path without compromise, keeping His precepts and commandments, loving Him with all our strength and all our mind. We are to serve Him and prioritize Him above all. It is indeed not as easy. You have to choose the Lord every day and prioritize Him. Let's look at 1 Timothy 4.1. But the Holy Spirit explicitly and unmistakably declares that in later times, some will turn away from the faith, paying attention instead to deceitful and seductive spirits and doctrines of demons misled by the hypocrisy of liars whose consciousness seared, as with a branding iron, leaving them incapable of ethical functioning. So here is the situation, and I have mentioned this to you multiple times in the past. Satan is targeting God's children. Where are God's children? In the churches. If Satan can influence the pastors, he can lead entire congregations astray. Don't be misled. And that is exactly what Satan is doing. More than ever these days, Satan is not stupid. He's very cunning. For instance, I know a church where the spirit of Jezebel is operating. And there are wolves in sheep's clothing, misleading many and spreading the spirit of deception. This aligns with prophecies about the very last days just before the Lord's return, the rapture. So make sure you attend a church that offers true, sound biblical teaching. If you sense that something's off or lacking, trust your discernment and don't rely slow, solely on the church's reputation. Because if they constantly discuss the past and nothing similar is happening currently, you're spiritually dead. Don't deceive yourself. We are currently in a time 
where discernment, as I mentioned in my previous video, is the greatest gift. Why? Because the spirit of the Antichrist, the deceiver, is already here. We are living in days of deception. Once the remnant is removed, people would be even more deceived. As the Antichrist will have complete control and authority. If it is challenging to discern now, imagine how it will be after the rapture. The true gift of discernment is not merely recognizing the truth from the lies. It will not be as clear cut. No, anyone can do that. Remember, Satan knows the word of God and imitates everything God does. So he will deceive you. Do not underestimate Satan. Stay vigilant. Matthew 24, 24 says, For false Christ and false prophets will appear and they will perform great signs and wonders so as to deceive, if possible, even the elect, God's chosen ones. I see this happening today. And many believers are believing and following these people. So the true gift of discernment is recognizing not the right from the wrong. It is recognizing the right from the almost right. You need to be able to discern. Galatians 5, 9 says, This false teaching is like a little yeast that spreads through the whole batch of dog, dog. And in the next verse, Paul says, I'm trusting the Lord to keep you from believing false teachings. God will judge that person, whoever he is, who has been confusing you. The spirit of the Antichrist is filled with deception. And be aware that is already present. In fact, it has been at work for many years. I recently asked the pastor, as I had never heard him mention the Lord's return, whether he believes in the rapture. And he responded with a firm no and became very guarded. I was completely taken back and I felt a deep grief in my spirit. Many are being misled. False doctrines are so cleverly concealed that you may not even realize what teachings and doctrines you are under. Many churches, even if they accept the rapture, teach that all believers will be raptured, which is also incorrect. While it may be comforting, it is false. Only those who have prepared themselves are ready and waiting and have their lamps filled with oil will be taken. Therefore, knowing about the rapture is not sufficient. It's not enough. If you're not prepared and cannot discern the times, you will be left behind. Matthew 7, 13 states, But small is the gate and narrow is the road that leads to life and only a few find it. The word of God encourages us to be wise rather than foolish. Consider the five wise virgins. Out of ten, only five were wise. I urge you to listen to the Lord and recognize His voice because your salvation is at risk. Let me tell you, Satan despises the rapture. He utterly detests it and has been working tirelessly behind the scenes to prevent believers from being taken. He knows that the rapture is meant for the salvation of God's children. And Satan desires for you to be left behind. Open your eyes. He hates you and wants to destroy you. God sends messengers like myself to awaken and inform you. Stop believing the lies that it is not time for the rapture or that there is no rapture. Who will you believe, man or God? Read his word, study his word. Read uh, 1 Thessalonians 4, 5 about the rapture. In 2 Timothy 4, 3 says, For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine and accurate instruction that challenges them with God's truth, but wanting to have their ears tickled, 
with something pleasing, they will accumulate for themselves many, many teachers, one after another, chosen ones, to satisfy their own desires and to support the errors they hold and will turn their ears away from the truth and will wander off into myths and man-made fictions and will accept the unacceptable. In 2 Peter 3.17, the Word of God says, Make sure that you are not carried away with the error of lawless people and lose your own stability. I personally know someone who continued to listen to a false teacher until he abandoned sound doctrine, turned away from Holy Spirit, and denied essential biblical truth, including the existence of hell, among other things. Therefore, it is crucial to be cautious about whom you choose to follow as a teacher and many seek out. Uh, what soothes their desires due to their itching ears. We are not intended to live comfortably in sin. The Word of God clearly states that no one who abides in Him keeps on sinning. Anyone who persists in sin has neither seen Him nor known Him, says 1 John 3, 6. Understand the truth and steer clear of false doctrine. Do not even entertain it. I recently heard a sermon by a pastor at a mega church who stated that there is nothing one can do to deem worthy. You are worthy as you are through grace. However, let me clarify that the enemy can disguise itself, and it may even sound biblically accurate. Satan consistently distorts God's Word. Satan knows the Word of God. You need to pray to be considered worthy. You must deny yourself and take up your cross. Faith without works is dead. 1 John 3, 7 advises, Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. In Matthew 16, 24, Jesus told his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. It is essential to have a personal relationship with Jesus. You must seek him and obey his commands. If you love him, you will obey him and refrain from sin. You will turn away from sin. Therefore, as you can see, the departure from true biblical faith and teachings has already occurred. Many churches are compromising by accepting everyone and tolerating sin. They aim to avoid offending people. Churches are conforming and conforming more and more to this word. God detests compromise. Look at what the Word of God says in Luke 12, 51. Jesus said, Do you think I have come to bring peace on the earth? No, I have come to divide people against each other. From now on, families will be split apart. Three in favor of me and two against, or two in favor and three against. Father, will be divided against son and son against father, mother against daughter and daughter against mother, and mother-in-law against daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. The departure from sound biblical doctrine is happening now. Satan has been operating in the background through false teachers and false prophets to lead many astray. So the falling away Another prophesied indication of the Lord's imminent return has taken place. 2 Thessalonians 2.10 states that many will perish because they choose not to love the truth and therefore to be saved. For this reason, God sends them a strong delusion so that they will believe the lie. So dear family, cherish the truth. Pursue the truth and stand firm with the truth, even if it means standing alone, losing everyone and feeling isolated. You will never lose Jesus.
Do not follow the majority. Remember Matthew 7, 13, which says that the gate is small and the road is narrow that leads to life and only a few will find it. The majority will not. Therefore, be ready and prepared Understand that all the signs of the Lord's imminent return uh, have happened. Nothing else needs to occur before the rapture. The time for the rapture is now. So be ready, be prepared, and be vigilant. Bless you.